What is up guys my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere. In today's video I am going to talk about the best custom room for the Poco X3. Three things you have to do before installing any custom room. Now number one what you have to do before installing the room is first of all just unlock the bootloader. It's a very easy process. A lot of videos are on YouTube. Check out those and you will get to know. Second thing which you need to do is install TWRP. Now installing a custom recovery such as TWRP is also a very easy step. I'm going to tell you to watch from a YouTuber called Sumit O'Brien. So this is his channel and yes he has done a very good tutorial on how to install TWRP. Then the third and the last thing is the custom room. Now there are many custom rooms in the market right now and obviously you can install any of those which one you like but to be honest this video is all about the best custom room for the Poco X3 Pro and yes I have tried a lot of custom rooms because I have tried Havoc OS as well and I found it to be not as smooth as a lot of people say it is. It is not that smooth. Okay now let's talk about which is the best custom room. Now there are a lot of YouTubers who are just faking this word. The best custom room, the best gaming custom room for the Poco X3 Pro, the best gaming room, these things doesn't exist. Okay, every room has a good side to it and a bad side to it. Now every room has different features, some room are very good in performance, some are good in smoothness. Now when I say performance and smoothness, they are two different things. Okay, now a lot of people might think, okay, what's the difference? Tell me right now. First of all, in terms of benchmarks, okay. The best custom room I ever tried was MIUI EU. That gave me the best benchmark. And yes, I'm not trying to change any kernel right now. I have tried to change kernels two times in the past and I failed two times very successfully. Like every time my phone went into saying no OS installed. And if you are very experienced, you have a trust in yourself, then change. But according to me, I'm not going to change any kernel. I'm going to run every custom room in the stock kernel itself. Okay. Now let's talk about the custom rooms as I told you I have tried the MIUI EU which gave the best score overall and uh, whether it is N22, whether it is Geekbench, whether it is CPU throttle test. Okay I'm just kidding. CPU throttle test in the MIUI EU is very bad. It just goes downhill like this. So that's very bad. Now let's talk about the other custom rooms which I have tried. I have tried Havoc OS, Arrow OS, Lineage OS as well. Yeah Lineage OS but I didn't like any of those. You know why ROS is just too simple, it is not good enough. Then Havoc OS is just too much customization. And the Lineage OS is just, it's like a different room at all. I just don't like the way it works or it looks. Now let's talk about the rooms which I might recommend you to use. First of all, the Oxygen OS is stable port. Okay, stable port. That's I'm quoting the stable port. That is a OnePlus 9R. You can use that. It's very nice, very stable. Everything works flawlessly. Then the second room I'm going to tell you is to use Pixel Experience Plus. Now Pixel Experience Plus is actually Rome will work very nicely and N22s are also amazing. Now I'm going to tell you the difference between these two rooms, the Pixel Experience and the Experience Plus. These two are found in the same website which is pixelexperience.com and I'm going to tell you the real difference between these two rooms. First of all in the uh, in the Geekbench scores I found out a big difference and that is the Pixel Experience got very poor scores. The scores were not even on par of the Redmi Note 8 Pro and the Pixel Experience Plus got very good scores. Like according to Poco X3 Pro standard yes the scores are low. You can see the Pixel Experience Plus scores right now. And yeah, as you guys can see, the scores are low according to the original standard. It should be around 2700, but we are not going to mind that because I am not a gamer personally. I just use this Poco X3 Pro as my primary device to test out new ROMs and also I just love the way the Pixel Experience Plus official works. Everything is very fluid, very very smooth. You will never ever face any problem, any lags, nothing. Just forget about lags, man. And my UI days are gone. Now this was the first part, I'm going to release three parts of this, like two more parts are coming. They're coming really soon, so if you're new, just subscribe to my channel. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one. Peace out.